صدا تصویر حرکت لوم لوم Hello everyone, my name is Ibolon and as you know and I mentioned in the videos before I am Unreal Engine and C++ developer living in north of Iran actually this is a new information for you we are uh, living under some uh, you know a weird situation here in technology industry at least you know I'm working with Unreal Engine I have some project with it and I want to tell you an overall view of what I'm doing with Unreal Engine and uh, how I'm using Unreal Engine actually in Iran as you know or you don't know uh, we have two kind of restrictions that I talk about the first uh, restriction that is from our government that is called filtering that's my previous video I talked about it exactly and we have some bans from outside you know actually from United States and uh, some other countries we have some bans and we if we want to use uh, some tools online tools uh, actually with Iran IP it cannot be done with Iran IP it's actually impossible to reach so we have some tools to actually create a new way for ourselves to use actually this kind of technologies one of them is epic games unreal engine and to emotion if we want to use unreal engine we have to use dns servers yeah, i don't want to talk deeply in it because i don't want you know block our way to use it but we are using a way to we have to go another way the second path to use unreal engine inside iran so i am uh, it's been a two years that i'm working with unreal engine you know first phase of uh, using Unreal Engine was, was for learning C++ and Unreal Engine for creating games or rendering projects. That's kind of worked. If you go to the benchmarks for uh, rendering 3D scenes uh, for architecture, uh, Unreal Engine is one of the best. Unreal Engine 5.3 or 5.2 or 5, one of the best options to use for 3D rendering or for cinematic rendering. One of the best out and it's free for now. <laughs> Some news recently popping up that Epic Games is gonna charge non-game developer for some kind of uh, fee because Epic Games now working on royalty. Uh, if your game which is developed by Unreal Engine sold uh, more than 1 million uh, for profit they will you know take it take some of it as Epic Games profit from 2020 to now it is free to use Unreal Engine but uh, what if you using Unreal Engine for other projects you like cinematics yeah, they have to you know, think about it that they're not sure about using it now but maybe in the future they charge us for using it and that's another you know <laughs> kind of segue for us actually you can easily go from outside of Iran or you know one or three countries is like us if you if you want to use you can just you know connect your bank account and a bank account and you can pay for monthly or yearly but we don't have direct bank account to epic games we can't buy from our bank account inside iran so that's another limitation for iranian developer living inside iran just not for being iranian just you know the iranian developer who is living inside iran or living in iran so after all the, those limitation and you know sideways <laughs> you finally have unreal engine games on your PC so I want to launch Epic Games and uh, recently I was working you know uh, no connection <laughs> that's it no connection so I have to use DNS server <laughs> I'm using Unreal Engine recently for two projects uh, one of them so we worked with uh, architecture he do the 3d stuff in 3d max and then send the whole black and white 3d object and we just import that inside on the engine and we just do to take the texturing and rendering by, by myself i added uh, you know i just saw the vision of the architecture i just added some materials and some textures from mega scans then if you don't know mega is one of the tools that you can add photogrammetry and realistic uh, texture to your project and actually it is free too thank you epic games from here i hope you don't 
serious video actually <laughs> so and uh, I just want to tell the whole and uh, whole plan and just I want you to have a full vision of what I'm going to do and maybe I just uh, in the next videos I just if you enjoying I'm going to details and what I'm exactly doing and you know what is movie quiz sequencers and all the options for the best output out there and how going to add meta humans to project just represent a project you know with all the details of meta humans and all the you know using a uh, live link that is actually epic games recently showed off that is you know, kind of other free projects that epic games is giving to developers you know it's just with all this limitation i first of all i want to thank epic games and all epic games uh community they really helped me actually inside I just, this is not epic games fault this is you know the politics they have to do something because they are working in the united states so they have to you know accept some realities you know you don't have to work with iran no iranian should allow to use your application and you know you have to move on they, they can't do anything else they have to accept that we should cut a part of community just you know sacrifice part of community so the other the big part leaves and move on so you know we are the part of the packs that is sacrificed in every applications so and um, i have two projects and i i'm really okay with using unreal engine it's a little bit hard if you want if you're new to and if you are at the first step and you want to choose a you know, application and using a program to pull to uh, render whole actually pack of the 3d for architecture maybe it's not your first First choice to choose Unreal Engine because the complexity of Unreal is too much. You know, actually, the Unreal Engine and uh, V-Ray are the most difficult program to use for 3D rendering. So, you know, we have some easy. Actually, uh, Epic Games announced Two Emotion a few uh, actually years ago. Just for architectures, the packs are ready. Everything is you know they are full package, but Unreal you have to do so many use so many plugins and yeah, there's a complexity in Unreal Engine. Maybe it's not your first choice if you want to use Unreal Engine because the actually uh, in the benchmarks that one of the best renders is for Unreal Engine They're just lumen and every single potential that is used in the Unreal Engine is epic but you know there's a second so first if you want to use Unreal Engine so watch it first one is the complexity and it, it's too hard you know if you want uh, to compare it to Lumion or you know uh, to Emotion or other stuff there that is recently used for 3D rendering it's harder to use Unreal Engine so that's the first one the second part Unreal Engine when you putting you know actually and uh, if you uh, you want to use Lumen as your uh, rendering style so and um, the hardware actually the second part <laughs> the hardware you're using for Unreal Engine you have you know good with the uh, full armor I have RTX 4080 here and just for building sometimes I run out of a uh, video memory cache so this is a heavy project it's got heavy very easily because the mega scan textures that I'm using sometimes it's up to 8k resolution so imagine 8k I, on everything the wall is 8k texture the table is 8k textures and so it's consume hold your and uh, hold your graphic card very easily so that's the first uh, second problem no, it's not problem yet actually if you have the package you can go for all in but you know it's a i'm just telling you a truth and in hardware part the ram capacity is very important actually if you have uh, 32 gigabytes of vram for uh, your graphic card you have to go around 256 gigabytes of ram you know the ram consuming is very high and actually in unreal engine 4 series uh, we had an option to limit the ram usage of your uh, actually pc or uh, on your project you limited the ram for 30 gigabytes so the process will uh, take much more time but in unreal engine 5 there's not the option like that yet and so if you run out of your ram capacity the system will freeze and actually you your pc will crash and you again you have to restart you know this kind of uh, frustrating big projects it may happen so much time in your project so having in mind your RAM is so important. I am actually in CPU part. I'm using Core i5 1317.5, I think. So uh, CPU is good. 
I, you know, it's not very depending on your CPU. So my CPU is enough for me and I don't have any limits by now. But RAM is so much, so important and uh, be in mind. And uh, this actually the hardware and the complexity of Unreal Engine. So this two part and third part, actually, this is not for you. This is for us. You have limitation because in internet, because imagine I just done, I just want to download an stone mesh for my project. And it's if it's nanite, uh, technology quality so it's about 80 gigabytes of just one stone imagine a full project with all the assets should must be downloaded so um, you know the internet is a problem inside iran because we have to use dns servers and vpn servers that both the options will limit your speed actually i have you know i show you in the speed i'm downloading from mega scans or our epic games marketplace so imagine if you want to upload a sample city which is 100 gigabytes so that's a weird thing about it, it literally takes a few days you know your pc should be turned on and epic games should you know just download the one asset so the, the third and um, pro problem is just for Iran, <laughs> the internet and you know, all the restrictions and all limitations that is just for Iran developers, you know, just inside Iran developers, which is using, who is you, who are using and Iran IP. So if you want to start Unreal Engine and if you want, and uh, I can't, you know, do some tutorial here for uh, 3D projects or 3D cinematics, if you want, you can comment down below or it is now outside, I, you know, actually I learned Unreal Engine by videos. In YouTube and you know actually Epic Games Forum you can go and, and actually learn it by yourself but I and actually I was I wanted to uh, start a solo game development by myself maybe I started that in this project and you know, do dev like the whole process I forget but <coughs> 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 so ooh, we and uh, actually let me connect and I want to show you some stuff of you know just the project and then what's the output my, of my first project and then I want to put it and I actually I, I think I put a one up to two minutes of my renders out the end of the video and if you want you know you can't wait it down until you see the whole process and I just want to do oh yes studio. so actually uh, this is uh, this is actually one of the, my latest projects I, I used Unreal Engine 5 to render actually I'm living in a small city north of Iran actually this based on tourists but you know this city the most, uh, biggest uh, business now is building constructions. This is my latest renders uh, for one of the projects and actually uh, we want to see it together and maybe you know see something and give it for free each other. So as you see I use a movie sequence and uh, to render out the you know the frames and I use media encoders or you can use actually uh, other tools to pack it together and do some color grading in maybe maybe pr premiere or you know davinci uh, uh, depends on when you what you use <laughs> actually what you get to use to so uh, actually i don't want to pause too much in between the video so you can see it I, actually it's a video recording of the screen so if the quality is not good so sorry for that but just you know I, I just want to give a whole picture of what's what I'm using on real engine for and what the usage actually in, in small cities So actually, because uh, because of my you know big focus on everything upscale and actually didn't have opportunity to use cinematic, you just you know it's epic rendering. It's an epic option and actually it's not cinematic, so this is a waste for me. And this project, is, you know, this is lost actually. Maybe clear out the voice. Yeah. 
So this is it. And I can go in details, but you know, it's get it will be get too much for this episodes. And actually, and actually, we have another project uh, that is a virtual exhibition. If I'm uh, actually this at this point, I want to tell you sorry for my accent if it's annoying. This is you know. Farsi is, uh, you know, a big language and the accents actually have, actually Iran have too much accents and language inside it. So, as Irani want <laughs> to talk English, you know, with my limited knowledge of English, so I'm sorry about that. And I uh, really appreciate that you are, you know, going along with this. And uh, this means a lot for me. Actually, uh, we have another project that is virtual exhibition. Actually, uh, this is a virtual exhibition. Uh, and we have a new politics that we have uh, kind of companies that are tax free. Actually, they won't pay any taxes. And the companies are uh, it named actually knowledge based. You know, the knowledge based companies, uh, we have about 8,000 knowledge based companies in Iran. You know, they have some in innovations in their tell the, the brief story of knowledge based companies in the next episode or maybe another episode and uh, close future but i want to you know gather the whole uh, pack of this video for this for now because it's getting too much for one for single episode and i don't want to be boring actually but i'm trying my best to give information and give the perspective that i promised you to do so my, our second project is we have a 3D object imported to Unreal Engine and we will create exhibition for every company which order to have exhibit in this project. So, and we will uh, going for rendering pre 160 degrees. So we use it on websites. So, and final steps is people can come and watch every company's products and everything in 360 degrees. I really have hype for that to start it as soon as possible. And we started recently. So I will be updated that in another series. So I'm using Unreal Engine for two projects. I'm really looking forward to creating a game by myself and uh, learn to creating games, maybe in this channel together and go as a full series of creating this indie game together but you know in different situation north of iran inside the middle east so thank you for your time thank you for your energy watching my videos and liking it if you enjoyed the video and want to know more about my projects and my lifestyle actually in iran thank you thank you thank you all of you guys for watching my videos and actually liking and subscribing the channel thank you very much i will be seeing you at the next episode and i really if you have any other question or question about this video i will be happy to answer that and if you know i have my attached my linkedin and my telegram account i think in the description so message me if you have any question about Iran or living in Iran or working in Iran or any other question you just want to ask. I'm here to answer your questions and I we will appreciate your see your comments and your ideas about living in Iran and your, you know, top brain draining questions. <laughs> so my name is Ebolan and I'm living in your north of Iran and Middle East and thank you for watching the video. See you in the next episode. GoPro, stop recording. Thank you, you piece of idiot.